what's going on everybody welcome to the channel today if you enjoyed this review please drop a like and please subscribe down below i appreciate all the support from everybody and before we get into today's review i just want to give a short message to everybody that is watching today i am uploading this either on christmas eve or christmas day so i just want to wish everybody a happy holidays merry christmas i hope you guys have a joyous time i hope everything's good i hope you guys are happy i hope you guys have fun hope you guys have a merry christmas and uh, we're going to get on with this review this is a nike box in orange regular swoosh classic style and you have a blazer mid 77 vintage men's size 12 us retail was 110 dollars and i believe these came out on i want to say december 21st but i might be wrong on that you will see the exact date there for 110 us and this is what we are looking at today so we have a blazer mid vintage in a all leather upper leather is actually the only material used throughout this entire shoe besides you know some little spots but mostly 99 percent leather and other than that it is a kind of cloud looking blue white faded spray kind of look and it's supposed to be a hardwood classics edition and it's supposed to kind of resemble the 1980s style aesthetic of basketball jerseys and I'm not quite sure exactly which team it would represent because you do have a couple of teams from that time period that could have been, um, you know, red, white, and blue, like the 76ers. I believe, if any of you remember, I think the Washington Bullets were also around at that time. They were red, white, and blue. And, you know, there's a couple of teams that fit in that category. So I don't think there was one team that this was based on. But we have a Pacific Blue, which is what this is called, and red colorway on this blazer mid vintage so giving you guys a close-up real quick on that kind of faded paint they have going around the shoe this is all leather by the way so it is a leather based material it is a little stiff it's not amazing but it's decent material your red swoosh is actually a nicer quality leather it feels nice to the touch the blue leather around the toe cap is actually pretty smooth to the touch as well feels pretty good i like what they used here on the materials it's just a straight leather um, for me wearing suede is hard because where i live it rains a lot suede gets ruined really easily so an entire leather upper means i don't have to worry about it as much i can take a wipe to it or clean it quite easily i can wear them daily it's just one of the bonuses for me about all leather blazer and looking at the toe box there there's a little bit of that faded paint which does come down it doesn't stop throughout the shoe besides right here and along the eyelets Otherwise, it continues around the whole upper from the lateral side to the medial side on the toe cap and around to the back. It is contrasted by that nice blue soft leather. You have Nike stitched in in red on the white leather on the back heel ankle area. You have a canvas style tongue, which is once again the only part of the shoe that is not really leather. And coming up to the top, you do have an exposed foam tongue. There's your Nike patch right there in white, black, and red. You do get one pair of flat laces, which is like a, um, it's a softer style cotton lace. It's actually a nice style lace. I like them. And if we move the laces out of the way, you can see you have a Pacific blue style insole with a red Nike swoosh going across down there right below the heel. There is no extra pair of laces with this $110 pair of Nikes, which, you know, is kind of I like the laces, but it's okay for this price point. Um, once again, these are probably available. If you guys watch my videos, you will know that I try to leave links down in the description to where you can find these for retail. If not, where you can go on the aftermarket and buy them for a trusted price. Um, I would recommend maybe checking out eBay now. I'm going to have to double check that, but from so far what I'm seeing with what eBay is doing on their sneaker section and their authenticity and their guarantees now, the commercials I've seen that are similar to StockX, it looks like we have a option now of eBay, StockX, and GOAT kind of in that competitive or comparison because they seem to be competing now outright where eBay is starting to move more like GOAT and StockX in terms of the sneaker uh, shopping area of their website. I found that very interesting recently when I started looking more into it because I saw they stopped giving uh, seller fees above $100 and things like that. So it's pretty cool to be able to sell some things on there, move it, get some more sneakers in for you guys. And it's just a good platform to look out for and I think I would trust it. So I'll let you guys know if I want to leave those links down in the description. So always check down there. On the outsole of the shoe, you have the Pacific Blue in this classic kind of herringbone wave pattern. Uh, kind of interesting, classic insole. White, of course, rubber, uh, midsole, nothing really too much to describe there. 
And that's really about it. There's not too much else to talk about. Oh, one thing I did not mention is the uh, lining coming down inside the shoe. That is leather as well. So it does have a nice leather lining on the blazer. Um, I thought that's pretty cool for $110. Not a lot of shoes have the leather continuing down through the lining. I think it's nice. Um, other than that, I think these are pretty solid. If you want to get these, once again, check down the links. I'll see if I can find any for retail for you guys. I thank you guys for stopping by. Let me hear what you guys have to say about this Nike Blazer Mid uh, Vintage Hardwood Classic Specific Blue. That's kind of a mouthful to say. And <laughs> love to hear from you guys. I'll try to answer back to everybody. Once again, happy holidays. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and enjoy your time. And other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys stick around. I have more content coming shortly. I will be posting another video before the year's over. And other than that, I hope to see you guys around the next one. I hope you guys have a great day and happy holidays. All right.